Aries, hello. Welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Miss Hawaii here. And I'm coming at you to give you your general love reading today for all my wonderful and powerful Aries. How are you guys feeling on this wonderful Easter Sunday? I'm sending you all blessings and love to you and your families. I hope all is well. Everybody is safe. Everybody got their stimulus checks. Okay. Ooh, that popped out. So, Aries, a couple things before I get into your reading. My name is Miss Hawaii. I'm your reader for this reading, okay? I'm a different type of reader. I curse, I smoke weed, I play music. I do a lot of things people don't like. So, I'm just giving you a warning. If you don't like it, then you can exit now. All right? Uh, if you're a, if you're a uh, fucking uh, stuck-up tight ass, then no, you won't like me. You won't like my channel. But if you are down to earth and chill, then yeah, we'll vibe. All right, this is a positive only zone. Don't come on here talking no shit, trying to make nobody feel bad about themselves because it's not nice. And that's how we create bad karma for ourselves, isn't it, folks? It is. If you would like to inquire about a personal reading with me, you can do so by emailing me at MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. That's MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com to inquire about a personal reading with me. I do ask for about three to five days to get you the reading just so I don't get backed up with my readings, okay? If you need the reading to be rushed to you, you can pay an additional fee to get the reading rushed and I can get it to you within 24 hours, okay? Just shoot me an email, MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com and we can discuss it, okay? If the video resonates, if you feel comfortable, leave me a message. Let me, I mean, leave me a message. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates if you feel comfortable doing so. I like to know I'm nosy. If not, just at least like the video, show your girl some love, and of course, subscribe to let me know that I am helping you guys, okay? Also, Aries, the energies can always be reversed, meaning because we see queens doesn't mean that it's only a female or a woman. It could be a male as well. We both have, or we all have feminine and masculine qualities here in us, okay? Hold on, Aries. I thought I had a um, thing here. I don't. Damn. Hold on, Aries. I thought that I had a blunt already rolled. I don't. So that cover everything, yeah, okay. Personal readings, Miss Hawaii readings at gmail.com. This is a positive only zone. I said that. Energies could always be reversed. I said that. I think that's it. All right, Aries, without further ado. Let's get into how you've been feeling in love. How has Aries been feeling in love? Show me spirit, please. Thank you, spirit, for a clear, guided reading for my Aries. Thank you for showing me the truth and the light so that I can guide them to their happiness and love. Provide them with guidance from the divine through you, spirit. Thank you for proper discernment of the cards. So that way I can deliver the message that the Aries are supposed to hear. Through you. Thank you, spirit, for guidance. Thank you to be able to help all my Aries right now. Thank you for allowing me to be able to be in the position to be able to help all my Aries right now. Show me, please, spirit. How is Aries currently feeling in love? Show me how Aries is currently feeling. The hangman. Major arcana to start off your reading. With the seven of coins. Okay. Aries, there's something here you're questioning. You're in the hangman point right now so you're at a standstill right now 
you're really trying to, some of you are going through a dark night of the soul journey. The hangman is one of the most important cards in the whole tarot because the hangman really allows us to gain a new perspective on something. Okay, something that we possibly have been, have another perspective about it that's been holding us back. That's why the hangman is so important because this is like a crossroads. This is like a turning point, the hangman. This is a turning point. Okay, some people stay in reverse hangman forever. They don't ever gain a new perspective. They stay stuck in their little cube and miserable in, their, in that little world that they created in their mind, not knowing that there's a world of freedom, of peace, of joy. And the hangman card is about that, finding that world. There's something here, Aries, that you have put a lot of work into, the seven of pentacles. You've invested a lot of time here in a connection. Okay, you feel that there could be growth here, potentially. But now you're thinking though, with this hangman, something here has got you really thinking. In suspension, you know, um, this is about sacrifice. The seven of swords in reverse. With the page of coins in reverse, who is this Aries? A Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Somebody here coming in reverse ain't doing what the fuck they supposed to do. This could also mean bad news. Disappointment here. Somebody here is unreliable. Somebody here is coming in as immature, Aries. Possibly manipulative. Possibly very manipulative with that Seven of Swords in reverse. Let's see what else we got for Aries. See, page of cups in reverse. Somebody very immature around you. Somebody who is not putting into this connection the way that they should with this eight of pentacles in reverse. Either this person is focused on other things with this page of cups. This person has a lot of growing up to do. They're not focused on you, Aries. They're running around. This can mean somebody that's promiscuous. Somebody whose emotions are very imbalanced. Who has a lot of growing up to do and needs to really learn how to control their emotions. Judgment card. A rebirth here. A renewal. Because you're not happy, Aries. You have to face it with a nine of cups in reverse. You are discontent. This situation has you discontent. And you're in the hangman trying to figure it out. I'm trying to get a new perspective. Now you're at the rebirth, you're at the rebirth process here, which is excellent, the judgment card. Self-awareness, okay? Beautiful energy, Aries. You're transforming. You see, some of you are looking into the future and you're getting a new perspective mentally about your future, some of you. Things that you want in the future or how you want your future to be. The Two of Cups. There's a connection here. You could possibly feel like this person is your soulmate, but what are they giving you back with the King of Cups in reverse? There, this person is either withdrawn, okay, or this person is, like I said, manipulative. This person is detached from you. Okay, or they're just emotionally unstable. But I see you having a connection here with somebody. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. The three of wands again. That's you looking into the future. Looking into the future. Thinking about your future. Having foresight here. Seeing here with the six of wands in reverse that this situation is not successful. You're not even feeling loved here. You're feeling rejected. You're feeling like this isn't going anywhere. Like it's a failure. See what I'm saying? It's stressing you out. 
you feel burdened. Ten of Coins is here in the bottom of the deck. Now, this could mean something that you really thought was going to be long term. You really invested. You thought this was going to be the grandkids, the grandparents, the 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 dog, the cat, the white picket fence, the car, the you know, the happy. You thought it was, and it wasn't. It turned out to be a short term investment. Okay, this could mean conflict over money. Okay, that's what I'm getting so far, Aries. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Show me the hangman. Show me the hanging man. Why is the hanging man here? Why is the hanging man here for Aries? Why is the hangman here? You see? Because you're thinking about success. Some of y'all are in the public eye. Some of y'all may be famous or somebody that a lot of people know and want. But I see you looking good, having a lot of people around you that support you and that are attracted to you. But I see here with this hangman, you're going to get clarity. Okay? You're going to have a breakthrough. And you're going to realize you deserve success. You deserve to have what you want, Aries. You deserve to be at the top. You deserve to have it all. Okay? You deserve what you want. Okay? And you're going to get that through the clarity that you're going to receive through this hangman, this dark night of the soul journey that you're about to go on. Show me the seven of swords in reverse. Why is this seven of swords here in reverse, spirit? Why is this seven of swords here in reverse, spirit? Ooh, what was that? The two of cups popped out. With the three of wands in reverse. Self-deception, Aries. Self-deception. You're making yourself think that there's a deep connection here between you and this person. You really are. Okay? And then the, the tarot says three of wands in reverse. There's no future here. Tarot says... No, right now, at least right now, the three of wands in reverse, mm-mm. You made yourself, you, you, yes, the seven of swords in reverse is self-deception. You made yourself think that this was deeper than it was, and it's not, Aries. Show me the page of cups in reverse. You see what I'm saying? Two of swords. Ace of cups. You see what I'm saying? You want new love. You have, you really are going to think about this with the two of swords. You're really, this is about making a difficult decision here, Aries. Okay. Really connecting with your intuition and really trying to figure out which way to go. What decision to make about this person, page of cups in reverse. That's not giving you what it is you need. You want real love, authentic, true love. The ace of cups. This is what you want, Aries. And you're getting the page of cups in reverse. Somebody who's possibly emotionally immature all over the place. Don't know what they want. They're hot and cold with their emotions. They change feelings quickly. Okay? Somebody who's fucking in love with everybody. The page of cups could be in reverse. Somebody very childish. Okay? That's just moody and just doesn't know how to control their emotions at all. Still learning. Okay? It might be somebody younger than you. They're very immature. Show me the judgment card. Show me this judgment card. Why is the judgment card here for Aries? The Ace of Cups now in reverse. You see? You have to select self-love, Aries. That's what Spirit is saying. With the Ace of Cups in reverse on top of the judgment, judgment is about self-awareness, knowing that you're worth it. Sometimes we don't see certain situations and we stick with people that are not good for us and not the best. Not God's best, not spirit's best, not the universe's best. Because we're something in us that we're lacking, that we continue to take this abuse, this unfair treatment within, you know, from other people who are just beneath us. Okay? And I see you here, five of cups in reverse. It's going to hurt when you let go of this person. But guess what? Five of cups in reverse, you're going to get over it. You're going to get over the loss. You're going to get over the sorrow. You're going to get over the disappointment. But right now, spirit wants you to have a, a re wants to, wants you to be reborn 
and love yourself. Take your cup of love and spirit is tired of you giving it to everybody else. Spirit wants you to drink. Drink your cup. Show me the two of cups. You got the two of cups here twice. Show me the two of cups. You see what I'm saying? The king of wands here. With the strength in reverse. This person is testing you. They're very attractive. They're very attractive. A lot of people want this person. They're very sexy, male or female. Very fiery. Could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And I see them being very charming. You got the Ace of Swords again here. It's in reverse now. Okay? With the Three of Wands. You're going to get the truth about the future. You see the devil in reverse. You letting go of toxicity. Okay? If this person has you feeling bound or chained, you're going to be able to break free and cut through that shit and get the truth. The King of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy right there, Aries. Somebody here stressing you out. I see you being very generous, very giving, Aries. Okay, I see you. You've given a lot in this connection. Five of Swords in reverse. You just want peace. But you, I see you being a, a provider here. You helped a lot. You gave this person a lot. Mentally and emo, you know emotionally. Spirit recognizes that. And you want peace. Okay, but I see this person again. Knight of Cups in reverse. I feel like you care more about this person. They're coming up as a page. I feel like you gave more. This person could be a, um, a heartbreaker or somebody who just is just all over the place with their emotions. They don't even know what they want. Hot and cold, changing the quick, quickly changing feelings. You know what I mean? Somebody that's real passive in a relationship. Could even be somebody that, you know, they could even be talking to other people. You know what I mean? Is that Knight of Cups in reverse? That's a play, that could be a playboy or a playgirl. You know what I mean? Somebody like to flirt, have fun. You know what I mean? Let's see how this person feels about you, Aries. How does this person feel about Aries? How does this person feel about Aries? How does this person feel about Aries? Show us how this person truly feels about Aries. How do they truly feel? What are their true intentions? What would their actions be moving forward towards Aries spirit? Show us this person spirit. Show us this person. Show us this person spirit. What would their actions be? And how do they truly feel about Aries? The Queen of Swords in reverse. Ooh. Oh, Queen of Wands in reverse. Some of y'all, this person is not male or female. If you're... Listen. Queen of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Some of y'all, this person is being real cold towards you. Nasty, acting like they want to cut you off. Some of y'all not even talking to this person. They acting funny with you, acting temperamental. The, see, the Four of Wands, okay. The Ace of Cups. Somebody here, they want love. Want to get married. The Seven of Swords again tried to pop out with the Two of Wands. Okay, let's see. How else does this person feel about Aries? How else does this person feel towards Aries? How else does this person feel towards Aries? How else does this person feel? Looking into the future, Three of Wands. Okay, 
trying to have foresight, okay? Something happened here where this person is healing. Three of swords in reverse. They felt betrayed by you, backstabbed by you at one point, or broken hearted. Sad about something here. You know what I mean? I see them now looking into the future. The Ace of Wands is in reverse. So maybe you and this person are not having sex right now. The moon here. Some type of illusion. Some, something here this person is trying to feel their way through here. They feel something is off here. Eight of Wands. A message possibly coming in. Fast action. A lot of fire here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Some of you guys are dealing with another fire sign. King of Swords. Okay, y'all are matching each other now with the King and the Queen of Swords. Chariot. Okay. So they see you as having the determination to get through any obstacles right now that they're going through. The Hangman. The same card you got. So this person is going through a dark night of the soul journey as well with the Ace of Cups, Aries, here in the bottom of the deck. They want love here with you. But something happened here to cause this person to want to cut you off. And be cold towards you for something. And not feeling passion right now with you. Fire right now. Feeling like the spark has gone out of the relationship. This person is turning their back on you with that queen of swords in reverse. They're trying to cut you out. Because they want marriage or something. Let's see. We're going to clarify. Show me the Queen of Swords in reverse. Show me the Queen of Swords in reverse. Show me the Queen of Swords in reverse, Spirit. Show me the Queen of Swords in reverse. See? Yeah, you. this person wants marriage. They got the Four of Wands twice, Tower in reverse. And they're resisting change or something here about resisting change with this Tower. Show me the Four of Wands. They really either want to come together with you, see you again, reunite with you. Or this person wants to really like have a have a commitment with you here. The Knight of Cups is in reverse. Why? With the Eight of Cups, this person walked away from you? Or somebody walked away here because of marriage? Or there could have been a revoked offer here. Maybe somebody proposed and then they took it, or somebody was supposed to get married. And then it was a revoked offer with that Knight of Cups in reverse. Show me the Three of Wands. Maybe there was commitment that was offered and then somebody switched up. Two of Pentacles. This person is trying to juggle right now, but they're miserable without you with the Nine of Cups here in reverse. They're not happy. Show me the Ace of Wands in reverse. They're not happy. The Moon, again, them trying to feel their way through. The Ace of Swords to try to get cut through to the truth. They're not sure. They just know there's no passion right here now between you guys. There's a lack of intimacy, okay? The spark is dying out, and they feel like they're trying to really let spirit guide them, use their intuition to figure out what the fuck is going on here. Show me the Eight of Wands. The Knight of Swords in reverse, you see? They're not sending you a message right now. This person is holding back. They want to. But right now they're questioning with the seven of pentacles. They feel like they've invested a lot. Some of y'all dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. And this person feels like they've invested a lot into this right now. And they're trying to decide if they should stay. See? Eight of cups. Somebody walked away here. Somebody walked away here. And I see them coming right back with this six of swords in reverse. Somebody came right the fuck back. Show me the hanging man. Or somebody can't walk away. They're trying to. See five of pentacles. Somebody feels left out in the cold, rejected. Judgment in reverse. Nine of pentacles in reverse. This person got both knights in reverse. I feel like this person is really trying to decide if there is a future with you or not with this two of pentacles. I feel like they're really trying to decide if there's a future with you or not because this person wants to get married. I see that with the four of wands, four of wands, but the knight of, the knight of cups is in reverse. So either they feel like you're not ready 
or maybe they you guys this is like a revoked offer maybe you guys discussed it and you were like no or they feel that you're not offering them the next level of commitment that they want but this person is really trying to find their way i see they do want to come towards you but they they're they're holding back right now because they're really trying to decide right now i feel like they were they, they have you feeling left out in the cold with the five of pentacles you know what I mean? Not y'all not speaking possibly. There's no communication. Or if there is, it's very a small amount. But I see them going through the hangman. Dark Knight of the Soul, the same card you got. Really trying to process this. Really trying to understand this. Really trying to see like which way do I go? You know what I mean? Because this person, I feel like they walked away from you. Possibly something to do with commitment and marriage. Maybe some of you were married to this person. And you weren't faithful to them or something here, something here. But I see them wanting new love. And I see them here, Knight of Swords in Reverse. Some of y'all, this was a lot of intense arguments here with this person. Aggression here, fighting. Okay, could have had something to do with commitment. Okay, but I see this person is really trying to, they're trying to find their way. They're trying to connect to their intuition to see if they should start new passion with you or not. If they should try again with you or not. I feel like logically, when they think, they're trying to think about this with their head. You know what I mean? They're trying to think logically about this. And logically, they're thinking they should walk away. You know what I mean? But they feel a deep connection with you, with that four of wands. They, they can see you as being their soulmate. They're 1111. They're That's my 1111 card, twin flame. But this knight of cups is in reverse. So there's something here about either the feelings not being mutual, somebody loving somebody more, an unrequited love. Somebody here gave more to this or somebody is loving somebody more than the other or somebody's not ready for commitment, serious level commitment yet or marriage yet. And this person is upset by that for some of you. Okay, that's what I see for sure. And I see this person, like I said, is really trying to think logically and they're really trying to think about the future. And that's why they're contemplating walking away from you. Because some, for someone specifically, this person wants to get married. And if you don't propose, for especially for my Aries that are males, some of you males, this woman wants to get married. And if you don't propose to her, she's going to get the fuck on. All right. And some of my females, I see y'all too. If y'all don't get proposed to or married or this person doesn't, doesn't step to y'all with a high level of commitment, my Aries women, y'all gonna be the fuck out because y'all thinking about the future. Y'all trying to get y'all coins together and y'all don't have time for no game. So I get it. You know what I mean? But this person is coming up as judgment in reverse. So they need to be reborn. That's why they're going through this hangman. But that's your reading day, Aries. Let me know if it resonated. I love y'all so much. If it did resonate, don't forget to like the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonated. Thank you guys for all your likes, your comments, your subscribings. Uh, <laughs> I love y'all so much. Blessings to the computer. Blessings, blessings, blessings. See y'all next time. Toodles.